Well, right now we're looking at contractors, by and large, fulfilling their contracts. So the money that um, has been spent right now um, will be used to have them go back to work and make sure that the glitches are fixed. Uh, I think that there is no question that um, initial problems were caused by a surge of volume, a demand, and then the volume actually uh, made it clear that there were additional problems as you went down the line of the application. Well, the majority of people calling for me to resign, I would say, are people who I don't work for and who do not want this program to work in the first place. I have had frequent conversations with the President and I've committed to him that my role is to get the program up and running and we will do just that. No one is losing coverage now because benefits don't start until the 1st of January. And in fact, if someone enrolls on December 15th, they will have coverage on day one. So I know that it's very frustrating. It is certainly not what we want it to be. It's not the experience I had hoped for. But I can tell you we won't stop until that lane is wide open and everybody can enroll. In the meantime, people are enrolling. Uh, not as many get through every day as we'd like uh, on the website. They can call on the call center and enroll. They can sit down in person with a navigator and enroll. Or they can fill out a paper application and that will be taken through and they can enroll.